is very short. My father Capulet will have it so, and I am nothing slow to slack his hips. You say you do not know the lady's mind. Uneven is the course, I like it not. Immoderately she weeps for Tybalt's death, and therefore have a little talk to love, for Venus smiles not in a house of tears. Now, sir, her father counts it dangerous that she don't give her sorrow so much sway, and in his wisdom hastes our marriage to stop the inundation of her tears. Now do you know the reason of this thing? I would I knew not why it should be slowed. Oh, look, sir, here comes oh. the lady towards myself. Happily met, my lady and my wife! That may be, sir, when I may be a wife. Then that maybe must be love on Thursday next. What must be, shall be. That's a certain text. <laughs> Come you to make me fashion to this father? To answer that, I should confess to you. Are you at leisure, holy father, now, or shall I come to you at evening mass? And my leisure serves me, pensive daughter, now. My lord, we must entreat the time alone. Lord, shield, I should deserve devotion. Juliet, on Thursday early will I rouse thee. Till then, adieu, and keep this holy kiss. <laughs> oh, shut the door, and when thou hast done so, come weep with me. Past door, past home, past home. Ah, uh, Juliet, I already know thy grief. It strains me past the compass of my wits. I hear thou must, and nothing may prorogue it. On Thursday next be married to this county. Oh, tell me not where that thou hearst of this, unless thou tell me how I may prevent it. Give me present counsel, or... Behold, twixt my extremes and me, this bloody knife shall play out honor, arbitrating that to which the commission of thy ears and ours could do no issue of true honor bring. Be not so long to speak, I long to die, if what thou speakest be not a remedy. Hold, daughter! I do spy a kind of hope. If rather than to marry County Paris, thou hast the strength of will to slay thyself, then it is likely thou shalt undertake a thing like death to chide away the shame. And if thou darest, I'll give thee remedy. Oh, bid me leap rather than marry Paris from off the battlements of any tower. Or walk in thievish ways, or bid me go where serpents are, or chain me with roaring bears, or bid me go to a new made grave and hide me with a dead man in his shroud. Things that to hear them told have made me tremble. But I will do it without fear or doubt to live an unstained wife to my sweet love. Hold then. Go home, be married. Give consent to marry Paris. Wednesday is tomorrow. Tomorrow night look that thou lie alone. Let not thy nurse lie with thee in thy chamber. Take thou this vial, being in a bed, and this distilled liquor drink thou off. And presently through all thy veins shall run a cold and drowsy humor. For no pulse shall keep a state of progress, but shall cease. No warmth, no breath shall testify thou livest. And in this borrowed likeness of shrunk death, Thou shalt continue for two and forty hours, and then awake as from a pleasant sleep. Now, when the bridegroom in the morning comes to rouse thee from thy bed, there art thou dead. Then, as the manner of our country is, in thy best robes uncovered on the bier, thou shalt be born to that same ancient vault where all the kindred of the captives lie. In the meantime, against thou shalt awake, shall Romeo by my letters know our drift, and hither should he come. And he and I will watch thy waking, and that very night shall Romeo bear thee hence to Mantua, and this shall free thee from this present shame. If no inconstant toy, nor a woman of spear, abate thy valor in the acting it. Oh, give me, give me, tell me not to spear! Hold! Did you gone? Be strong and prosperous in this resolve. I'll send a friar with speed to Mantua with my letters to thy lord. Love, give me strength, and strength shall help forth. Farewell, good father. 